Ladies and gentlemen, today I stand before you not just as a speaker, but as a steward of timeless wisdom. I am here to delve into the profound depths of a subject that holds the power to transform lives, shape destinies, and chart the course towards financial abundance, the psychology of money. Understand this, my friends, money is not merely currency, it is a reflection of our thoughts, beliefs, and actions. The way we think about money shapes our financial destiny more than we might ever realize. The psychology behind wealth is as significant as the tangible strategies we employ. Let me begin by emphasizing that wealth is not merely a result of luck or fate. It's a consequence of our attitudes, habits, and mindset. Your current financial situation is a direct reflection of your thoughts about money, the actions you've taken, and the habits you've cultivated. Firstly, let's address the mindset. The way you think about money lays the foundation for your financial success. Your beliefs about money, whether inherited or self-constructed, play a pivotal role in shaping your financial destiny. If you hold on to limiting beliefs such as, money is the root of all evil, or rich people are greedy, you unknowingly repel wealth from your life. Embrace a mindset that welcomes abundance. See money as a tool for good the means to provide for your family, contribute to society, and live a fulfilling life. Secondly, let's discuss the power of vision. The ability to envision your financial success is paramount. Create a vivid mental picture of your desired financial future. Visualize the lifestyle you desire, the places you want to travel, the impact you wish to make. This vision will serve as your guiding light, motivating you through challenges and driving you toward your goals. Now, let's dive into the realm of habits. Our daily actions, rituals, and routines dictate our financial fate. Discipline yourself to adopt positive financial habits. Save diligently, invest wisely, and continuously educate yourself about money. Remember, it's not about how much you earn. It's about how much you keep and what you do with it that matters. Moreover, understand the profound impact of compound interest not just in financial investments, but in personal growth. Consistent efforts compounded over time yield remarkable results. Small, consistent steps toward financial literacy, prudent financial decisions, and persistent effort will yield exponential growth in your wealth journey. Furthermore, the company you keep significantly influences your financial trajectory. Surround yourself with individuals who inspire, challenge, and uplift you. Associate with people who have achieved what you aspire to accomplish. Learn from them, absorb their wisdom, and leverage their experiences to accelerate your own financial growth. Let's not forget the importance of resilience and adaptability. Financial storms are inevitable, but how you weather them defines your success. Embrace failures as learning opportunities, pivot when necessary, and persist in the pursuit of your financial goals. Lastly, and perhaps most importantly, never underestimate the power of giving. As paradoxical as it may sound, the more you give, the more you receive. Generosity is a hallmark of the truly wealthy. Give without expecting anything in return, and you'll witness the abundance that flows back into your life. In this vast tapestry of existence, we are each equipped with a remarkable and unique gift. The gift of continuous learning and personal development. Our minds are akin to fertile soil, capable of nurturing seeds of wisdom, ideas, and skills that, when cultivated, have the potential to yield a harvest of abundance and prosperity beyond measure. Let me emphasize this fundamental truth. Your level of success in life, both financially and personally, is directly proportional to the depth of your commitment to expanding your knowledge and honing your skills. You cannot expect to reap bountiful rewards if you sow meager seeds of understanding. The world rewards those who invest in themselves and their growth. Think about it. Those individuals who have scaled the summits of financial success, the visionaries, the trailblazers, the titans of industry, what sets them apart? It's their insatiable hunger for knowledge, their unrelenting pursuit of self-improvement, and their unwavering dedication to continuous learning. They understand that the path to greatness is paved with a commitment to personal development. Education is not confined to the walls of institutions. It's a lifelong journey, an odyssey of discovery that extends far beyond formal schooling. It involves devouring books that ignite your imagination, seeking mentors whose wisdom illuminates your path, 
attending seminars and workshops that expand your horizons, and embracing experiences that challenge and mold you into a better version of yourself. Moreover, the acquisition of knowledge is not an end in itself. It's a means to an end, a catalyst that propels you toward financial independence and ultimate freedom. As you expand your intellectual arsenal, you acquire the tools necessary to navigate the complexities of the modern world, gain expertise, refine your skills, and position yourself as an invaluable asset in the marketplace. In today's rapidly evolving landscape, the currency of success is not solely measured in monetary terms. It's also a reflection of your intellectual capital. The more you know, the more you can contribute. The more you can contribute, the more value you can offer to others. And as you continue to deliver value, the universe has a magnificent way of reciprocating abundantly. Furthermore, let me dispel a common misconception, a fallacy that shackles many aspiring individuals. The belief that financial independence is an elusive dream reserved for the select few. Nothing could be further from the truth. Financial independence is not a stroke of luck or a distant mirage. It's a tangible reality within your grasp, achievable through diligent pursuit of knowledge and a commitment to personal growth. Understand this. You possess within you the raw potential to carve out your own destiny, to design a life of abundance and prosperity. But this potential remains latent until you unlock it through the power of education and personal development. Your ability to adapt, innovate, and thrive in a constantly changing world hinges upon your willingness to invest in yourself. Moreover, the pursuit of knowledge and personal growth is not solely about amassing wealth. It's about crafting a life of fulfillment, joy, and contribution. It's about becoming the best version of yourself, not just for your own sake, but for the betterment of humanity. When you expand your knowledge and refine your skills, you become a beacon of inspiration, a catalyst for positive change in the lives of those around you. Now, my friends, let me leave you with this profound truth. Your future is not a matter of chance, it's a matter of choice. The choice to embark on a relentless quest for wisdom and self-improvement. The choice to commit to a path of lifelong learning. The choice to harness the transformative power of knowledge as the catalyst for achieving financial independence and ultimate freedom. So, I implore you, embrace the journey of personal growth and education with unwavering determination. Cultivate your mind, nurture your talents, and never cease to expand the boundaries of your understanding. For in doing so, you pave the way for a life of unparalleled abundance, success, and freedom, the life you truly deserve. Thank you, my friends, for allowing me to share these timeless truths with you. Remember, the key to unlocking the doors of opportunity lies within your commitment to continuous learning and personal growth. Dare to dream, dare to learn, and dare to transform your life beyond imagination. Your future awaits, and it's brimming with endless possibilities. God bless you all on this magnificent journey of self-discovery and achievement. Ladies and gentlemen, it is an absolute honor and privilege to stand before you today as we gather to unlock the secrets to consistent success. As someone who has dedicated a lifetime to studying and practicing the principles of achievement, I am here to share with you the wisdom I have gathered along the way. Success, my friends, is not an overnight phenomenon. It is the result of consistent and relentless action towards a worthy goal. So today, let us delve into the secrets that will pave your path towards unwavering achievement. First and foremost, understand that success is a journey, not a destination. We often get caught up in the illusion that success is a fixed point in time, a place we arrive at and stay forever. But that is far from the truth. Success, my friends, is not a one-time event but a continuous and ever-evolving process. To be successful consistently, you must adopt the mindset of a lifelong learner. Education doesn't end when you leave school or earn your degree. It is a lifelong pursuit of knowledge and personal development. Read books, attend seminars, seek mentors, and invest in yourself every single day. Imagine your mind as a fertile garden. If you leave it untended, weeds will grow, and the harvest will be barren. But if you cultivate it diligently, nourish it with new ideas, and water it with purpose and determination, you will reap a bountiful harvest of success and fulfillment. The second secret to consistent success is discipline. Success is not about doing what you feel like. 
It's about doing what needs to be done, even when you don't feel like it. Discipline is the bridge between your goals and accomplishments. It's the glue that holds your dreams together. Willpower alone is not enough. You need to establish systems and routines that support your success. Have a clear vision of what you want to achieve. Break it down into small manageable steps. And then develop the discipline to follow through on those steps day in and day out. There may be moments when you face setbacks or encounter obstacles on your path. But let me tell you this. Setbacks are not there to stop you. They are there to strengthen you. Your ability to persist in the face of adversity will determine your level of success. Remember, the darkest hour is just before the dawn. The next secret to consistent success is the power of association. You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Surround yourself with individuals who inspire, challenge, and support you in your quest for greatness. Seek out mentors who have already accomplished what you aspire to achieve. Learn from their wisdom and experiences. As you soar towards success, remember to bring others along with you. Be generous with your knowledge, share your discoveries, and uplift those around you. Success is not a solo pursuit, it is a collective endeavor. Now, let's talk about the importance of setting clear and compelling goals. Your goals are the compass that guides your actions. Without them, you are like a ship without a destination, drifting aimlessly in the vast ocean. Set specific, measurable, and time-bound goals. Break them down into actionable steps and create a roadmap towards achieving them. Write your goals down and review them daily. This simple act will crystallize your aspirations and ignite your motivation. But setting goals alone is not enough. You must also develop an unwavering belief in your own abilities. Believe that you are capable of achieving what you desire and that you have within you the power to make it happen. Remember, the biggest limitations are the ones we create in our own minds. Along your journey towards consistent success, embrace failure as a stepping stone towards greatness. Understand that failure is not the opposite of success, it is an integral part of it. Embrace failure as a valuable source of learning and growth. Within every failure lies the seed of an equivalent or greater opportunity. Learn from your mistakes, adjust your course, and keep moving forward. Michael Jordan once said, I failed over and over and over again in my life, and that is why I succeed. So, my friends, let failure be your ally, not your enemy, on the road to consistent success. But, my dear friends, this is just the beginning. Next, we will delve deeper into the realm of personal development, exploring the techniques and strategies that will unleash your true potential. Now, some may ask, why should I dedicate my time and energy to personal development? Can I just go with the flow and hope for the best? While it may seem tempting to take the path of least resistance, I am here to tell you that real success, the kind that transcends mere material riches, comes to those who make a conscious effort to grow and improve themselves continuously. Imagine for a moment if everyone around us stopped working on themselves. Picture a world where innovation, invention, and progress stagnate because people have resigned themselves to complacency. Now, think about the lives of the individuals in that world. Lives trapped in monotony, devoid of purpose, and lacking the sense of achievement that comes with personal growth. Now, let's turn our gaze inward and consider our own lives. If we neglect our personal development, we risk falling into the same trap. As human beings, we possess an innate desire to grow, learn, and adapt. It is this very desire that has propelled mankind from living in caves to building great civilizations. If we fail to honor this innate drive, we risk stifling our potential and depriving ourselves of the immense joy that comes from realizing that potential. Personal development is not a mere luxury or something to be pursued only in times of crisis. It is a lifelong, never-ending journey that demands our attention, focus, and commitment. It is the key that opens the door to a better future. A future where we can manifest our dreams and make a lasting impact on the world around us. But you might ask, what does personal development encompass? Is it just about acquiring knowledge or learning new skills? Personal development goes beyond acquiring knowledge. It involves the conscious pursuit of self-awareness, self-improvement, and personal growth. It encompasses every aspect of our being, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. 
physical development is the foundation upon which every other aspect of personal growth is built. Caring for our bodies by nourishing them with wholesome foods, engaging in regular exercise, and getting enough rest and relaxation is the first step towards achieving overall well-being. When we neglect our physical health, we rob ourselves of the energy, vitality, and stamina required to pursue our dreams. The next pillar of personal development is mental growth. Our minds are the most powerful tools we possess, capable of shaping our reality and determining our destiny. By nurturing our minds through reading, studying, and continuous learning, we sharpen our intellect and expand our understanding of the world. Investing in our mental growth allows us to develop critical thinking abilities, improve problem-solving skills, and cultivate the kind of mindset that can weather any storm. However, personal development is incomplete without addressing our emotional well-being. Developing emotional intelligence allows us to navigate the complex tapestry of human relationships. It empowers us to understand and manage our own emotions effectively while also demonstrating empathy and compassion for others. Emotional growth equips us with the tools to build healthy and fulfilling relationships, fostering an environment of collaboration and support. Lastly, but certainly not least, we must embark on a journey of spiritual development. Spirituality is not confined to religion but rather encompasses our connection to something greater than ourselves. By nourishing our souls, we tap into an endless reservoir of inspiration, resilience, and purpose. Embracing spiritual development allows us to align our values with our actions, leading a life driven by a higher calling and leaving a lasting legacy in the process. So, why must you always work on your personal development? Because, my friends, it is through this commitment to growth that we unveil the best versions of ourselves. It is through personal development that we become architects of our own destiny, no longer bound by the limitations imposed by circumstance or society. Your personal development is a lifelong apprenticeship where every day offers new lessons, challenges, and opportunities for growth. It requires discipline, dedication, and a steadfast commitment to unlocking your full potential. But let me assure you, the rewards that await you on this spectacular journey are worth every ounce of effort invested. Commit to working on your personal development every single day. Make it a non-negotiable habit, and you will witness a ripple effect that will not only transform your life, but also inspire all those around you to embark on their own journey of growth. As you take this leap, remember that you hold within you the power to shape your own destiny and create a life that surpasses your wildest dreams. Thank you, and here's to your magnificent journey of personal development. Formal education will make you a living. Self-education will make you a fortune. Formal education is standard, structured, and systematic education. It's what you learn in schools and colleges. There's nothing wrong with formal education, but it's designed to get you a job or make you a living. It's not designed to make you financially free or mentally strong. It's designed to keep you part of the system. There are limits to how far you can go with formal education. It's for people who want limited risk and not much responsibility. Self-education knows no limits, and that's why it has the potential to make you a fortune. Self-education can not only make you a fortune, but also make you fulfilled, because it gives you the choice to educate yourself on things that will enhance the quality of your life. Think of all the greatest entrepreneurs of today and in history. These are self-educated people. They're all likely formally educated as well, but for all successful people, self-education never ends. Not after school, not after success or failure. Life is the classroom, and the only goal is to learn and to grow every day. The major value in life is not what you get. The major value in life is what you become. The major question to ask is not what am I getting here. The major question to ask is what am I becoming here. It's never the material success that gives us the most value. It's the self-pride that comes when you extend yourself. It's not the money or the house that will bring you joy. It's the pride in knowing you earn the money in the house. That's where the value is, and you won't get anything more until you become more. If you don't design your own life plan, chances are you'll fall into someone else's life plan, and guess what they have planned for you? Not much. If you're waiting for others to hand you success, You'll be waiting with your hand out until your dying day. If you want anything in life, the responsibility falls on only one person, and that person is you. 
No one owes you anything. If you want it, you must plan for it, sacrifice for it, and work for it. Don't wait for anyone to give you a handout or a magic map to achieve the life you want. You have to educate and execute your own life plan to live the life you want to live. You cannot change your destination overnight, but you can change your direction overnight. Nothing worthwhile is built overnight. The overnight success is a myth, but one thing that can change instantly is your attitude. You can decide in an instant that your life will change, and if you keep that promise to yourself, that could be the moment that everything does change. You can decide enough is enough. You can decide no more. You can decide from this moment. It only takes a moment. If you're not willing to risk the unusual, you will have to settle for the ordinary. Life is a risk. It's a risk to turn down a safe job to go after your dreams. The risk is failure, embarrassment, suffering. But perhaps the greater risk is taking the option that will almost certainly lead to regret down the track. Regret is almost guaranteed when you choose an easy option that is far less than your potential or less than the quality of life you dreamed for yourself. Every great success story on this earth was a great risk taker. Great rewards can only come following great risks. You can't win the raffle unless you have a ticket, and in the game of success, the ticket is risk. It is putting yourself out there, putting your fears and reputation on the line, knowing there is a possibility of failure and being brave enough to try anyway. If you don't like how things are, change it. You're not a tree. Many, many people complain about their situation when they have the power to change it. Whether the change is going to be comfortable or not, if you have the power to change and you want to change, change. Perhaps the greatest destruction of the human spirit is when we go against our own intuition. Worse is when we go against our intuition, then complain and blame others for our situation. If you want to change, change. Take responsibility for where you are and trust you have the capability to learn and grow enough to get where you want to go. Either you run the day or the day runs you. Don't say if I could I would, say if I can I will. When it comes to how we live our lives, all of us have two choices. We can choose to take control of the day, get on the front foot, and believe we can change our reality. Or we can be at the mercy of circumstance, believing we can only respond to reality. Happy people, successful people take control of the day. They take control of each moment and try to create a better next moment in each and every action they take. Mentality is everything. You really do decide how reality is served to you. Do you create your own reality, or do you wait for life or circumstances to tell you what kind of day you're going to have? We must all suffer one of two things. The pain of discipline or the pain of regret or disappointment. Success is nothing more than a few simple disciplines practiced every day. Discipline is the bridge between goals and accomplishment. For every disciplined effort, there is a multiple reward. There perhaps is no greater single word when it comes to achievement, growth, success, and even happiness. Discipline is everything, and in discipline, there are many rewards. Those with the discipline to follow through consistently are those who will succeed in the end. The discipline to say no when you need to. The discipline to say yes when you don't want to. The discipline to work hard. The discipline to be consistent in all areas of your life. It's not the huge actions that matter long term. It's the tiny but frequent daily disciplines compounded over years that will lead to your greatest success. Success is neither magical nor mysterious. It's pretty straightforward and interesting and unexciting. And that is precisely why most people give up. It's the consistency that brings success, not the magic. There are no secrets. Just keep showing up every day, improving, growing, and adding value, and eventually you will be rewarded. Don't wish it were easier, wish you were better. Most people wish life were easier. But life only gets easier when you push yourself to be better. Don't even wish you were better. Be prepared to work for your better. Be prepared to earn your better. Happiness is not something you postpone for the future. It is something you design for the present. And now we come to the most important piece. Happiness, fulfillment, emotional stability. Happiness, says Jim Ron, is not something you postpone for the future. Don't put off happiness for one day when you get that car, or when you're a millionaire, or billionaire, or when you attract that one person into your life. Happiness is something you design, something you decide for the present, for right now. You decide every day to be happy by the choices you make. You decide what kind of day you're going to have by the time you allocate. 
Are you rushing out the door stressed and agitated? Or are you making time for gratitude, meditation, learning things that make you feel good, things that keep your mind on the positive? One day will never come if your primary goals are materialistic, because one day always turns into more and never enough. Decide you have enough. Live and feel like you have more than enough, and life will always deliver more to you. Decide that the primary importance of your life is not material things but feelings. How you feel should always be the most important because that is why people chase material things in the first place. They think they will feel better having them. Just decide to feel better first, then you will always have enough. Take care of your body, it's the only place you have to live. An important message in a world where not many seem to care what enters their body. Of equal importance to your mental health is your physical health, and they're often inseparable. For a truly quality life, treat your body like you would the greatest love of your life. Feed it with nutrients that will make you feel alive, giving you more energy to live the life you deserve to live. Some people plant in the spring and leave in the summer. If you've signed up for a season, see it through. You don't have to stay forever, but at least stay until you see it through. If you've signed up for a better life, see it through. If you've signed up for a successful business, see it through. Don't quit before your success starts to come into season. If you've signed up for a healthier, stronger body, see it through. It takes more than one season to create a great life. Whatever you're going through, see it through. Character is a quality that embodies many important traits such as integrity, courage, perseverance, confidence, and wisdom. Unlike your fingerprints that you were born with and can't change, Character is something that you create within yourself and must take responsibility for changing. We're affected by how we feel first, by what we know and the decisions we make second, and by attitude. How we feel about the past is crucial. It's how you feel about the past. You've got to have a good attitude about the past. Use it as a school, not a club. Don't beat yourself to death with your past failures, losses, and falls. Let the past be a schoolmaster to teach you, not to threaten you. Next, how you feel about the future is equally important. Set your goals. The promise of the future is an awesome force to affect your life. Without a well-designed future, you take hesitant steps. Appreciate everything with all its ups and downs, with all its mystery of why it works and sometimes doesn't work. Don't challenge this, just seek more knowledge, more ideas. A few errors in judgment repeated every day for one month start the weakness, start the disaster process. You can imagine what happens in six years. Here's the formula for success. A few simple disciplines practiced every day. The formula for success is a few simple disciplines practiced every day. What are you not doing that would be easy to do and greatly change your health, your wealth? If you start that process to eliminate errors and replace them with disciplines, you can start a whole new life. Immediately after today, you don't ever have to be the same again, only by choice. Time is more valuable than money. You can get more money, but unfortunately, you can't get more time. Don't waste any of your days, not for anybody, not for anything. Inspiration, that's a mystery. Some people are inspired, and some are not. Some things I don't try to figure out. I take the simple approach. Some people do, and some people don't. Some change, and some don't. And if you've been around for a while, you can usually work out the numbers. Here's what locks up the doors and channels to receive more. Cynicism. That locks you away, preventing you from learning more. Being a cynic about the past, the future, the marketplace, the people, institutions, set up yourself cynical about your chances. That locks away all the chances for stuff to flow your way. Don't be a follower, be a student. Take advice but not orders. Take information but don't let somebody order your life. Make sure what you do is the product of your own conclusion. The learning process is powerful. Your learning curve can go up by processing ideas and then applying them to your life, your business, your family, conversations, equities of all kinds. Philosophy. To form your philosophy. Each person's personal philosophy is the major factor in how your life works out. It's not what happens that determines the major part of your future, it's what you do about it. If you will start that process of change, do something different the next 90 days than you did the last 90 days, you'll start doing different things with the same circumstances. You've attracted what you have at the moment by the person you become. 
If you want to have more, you simply have to become more. Don't wish it was easier, wish you were better. Don't wish for fewer problems, wish for more skills. Start working on yourself, making personal changes, and everything will change for you. Work harder on yourself than you do on your job. If you do that, it will turn your life around. Work on your philosophy, your attitude, your personality, your language, your communication skills, and all your abilities. If you start making those personal changes, everything will change for you.